CEO, Chairman of the Board, Jamie Dimon is also a member of the Federal Reserve Board. This is wrong. Is this a conflict of interest? Here, you saw a member of the board had to recuse herself for something that, to me, in my eyes, is less significant than having CEO, Chairman of the Board, and a member of the Federal Reserve Board. This is wrong. We have to take the power away from it. The, uh, that's number one. Number two is um, specifically against these people, the heads of these boards that serve as CEOs and members of the board. That we are, we hold proxies. Collectively, this pension fund owns about one uh, three hundredths of Wells Fargo Bank, JP Morgan, and these bank stocks. One roughly thirty basis points, three tenths of one percent of all the shares outstanding. We want to vote our shares and send a message that this is wrong. San Francisco is not the only fund. And let me read to you an email that was sent, and I provided this to uh, staff as well. This is from CalPERS, the California Public Employees Retirement System, $250 billion in assets, approximately 2% of the shares of these banks, 2% of the shares that are voting this way as well. Let me read your message. This is from Joe Deere. It was an email that I just summarized, but I, it says, again, Joe Deere is the Chief Investment Officer, and uh, he says the following. I can assure you that CalPERS will vote to separate the CEO and board chair roles at Wells Fargo, J.P. Morgan, and every other company that persists in adhering to that core governance practice. CalPERS will also continue to follow developments in the mortgage markets, including bank compliance with settlement agreements and further opportunities to advance public policies that redress the harm suffered by homeowners. CalPERS. 